It's my first time at the Faroe Islands. I'm surrounded by ocean, mountain, fog, sheep, but also two electric buses. Today I'm in Tushan in the Faroe Islands and today I will drive the e-way from Iveco. This is the first time the Faroe Islands ever see an electric bus and now we are here to test drive it. Welcome on board. Welcome on board to the Iveco E-Way. I will fasten my seatbelt and I will go through a little bit of the things we do have here before I will start driving the bus. Before I will drive, I need to find my comfortable position. I do have a button on the floor that I will push it with my foot and then I can adjust the steering wheel how I want it. And this is the standard uh, city bus uh, dashboard, so everything is connected. There is not too much to adjust here this is how it works. It is comfortable and you will find a position you are comfortable to work with after a while. The first thing I see, the biggest side window on the planet. I absolutely love this big, big side window because you will have a lot of light for the first, but you will have no blind spots. This is Perfect. I really, really like this big window. And we have some buttons here to my right where I can uh, open and close the doors, the transmission, drive, neutral and reverse. And some function buttons here for lightning and other things. And one thing I really like is that I'm seated very high. When I'm sitting here, I have great view of the road and I also will meet the passengers with the eye height. I will not sit down there, hello. I will really have a great view of the passengers and they will also look me directly in the eyes. And it's also a great safety feature while sitting here behind the steering wheel. So now I will put this uh, bus into drive, release the handbrake and drive Iveco Iwe on the Faroe Islands. It's beautiful here. It's just so sad. Everything is covered with fog. We have about 100 meters of visibility. I wish to show you all of this beautiful, beautiful scenery we have. Now I'm driving a bus that's very small and nice for its size. It's only 10.8 meters long and it's also more narrow than other buses we have been driving before. It's only 2.3 meters wide, which makes this a perfect city bus for the Faroe Islands. Tushan is a small, cute little city with narrow roads, so you will really feel the good effect of having the smaller bus, narrower bus, and shorter bus. But it's powerful still. We do have 420 kilowatts in the battery package, so it's very efficient to drive. And it's also the biggest battery pack Iveco can deliver for this bus. You can charge it by night for eight hours, or you can fast charge it for two hours. Right now, the infrastructure is not ready for charging here on the Faroe Islands, but after the summer, they will have a stationary charging spot on the depot for these buses. And these buses are only operating about 180 kilometers a day, so the battery package is absolutely perfect for this kind of use. The first impression for me behind the steering wheel is very good. I have two hanging mirrors here on the side, but there is no wide angle mirror on this bus. One hanging mirror here, one hanging mirror over there. I have a great mirror here so I can see what's happening back in the cabin and I have everything I need very close to me. I have the buttons for the door, I have the function buttons, switch for lightning, gear change and also the hill hold on an external button. To my left I have the blinker and the window wiper. So here we have everything within a hand reach. But what I don't like so much is this inbuilt cabin for the driver. There is absolutely no space behind my back. If I try to take down my armrest, that's what I have 
for space. Now my arm is crashing, colliding with the back wall and there is no space for me to leave any personal belongings. They have built a little platform inside the door but it's not very steady so things will probably fall out from that little platform. And this driver door is protected by a magnet so it's um, safe so nobody will come in but it's almost 50 60 centimeters on the widest spot it's very very thick heavy and it doesn't open that much so you really have to breathe in and keep your stomach in when you are entering this door other than that is an isri driving seat i'm comfortably seated i have great view yeah this is a great working space for the guys working on these buses here on the Faroe islands On board in this bus we do have 24 seats and you can also have 47 standing passengers. So it's a quite high capacity for being this small bus. And you also have one wheelchair space here in the middle. And there is a ramp and because of the wheelbase is shorter than normal they actually have to make a little cut in the wheelchair ramp. So when it's laid down on the floor it's a little lifted somehow but they make it even when you take it down on the floor. Very cool effect and it makes the wheelchair ramp very efficient. You don't have to have the lift, just flip it out, take in the wheelchair, save time, very efficient. My name is John von Stahl. I am here in uh, Toshan in the Faroe Island. I am the manager for the public transport here in the city of Toshan. We are actually driving a free uh, bus system, so the tickets are free. Everybody can come in and go out as they want and uh, we have uh, started a new journey with uh, Iveco e-way we just got two new e-ways here today and we will be soon driving around town with them and they are very excited to this new time with the Iveco e-way and actually we've also got one new uh, crossway also here in the company we just uh, in December 2022 we got the 15 new uh, crossways and this morning we got one more. So we have 16 new crossways and two e-ways. The company that owns these buses is called Håset Bussar. And they were actually in Norway to make a study how to buy buses. They were inspired by the heating, the isolation parts, they were also inspired about the corrosion and the rust parts. So everything here is made so they can have buses that will last all the years they will operate here on the Faroe Islands. You could think that the climate here on this island would be quite extreme. It is, but not in the winter way that we are used to back in Norway. Here we are located basically on the Gulf Stream. So we will always carry warm streams from the south of the globe. So here if it's minus 5 degrees on the Faroe Island, it's totally unnormal. But also, if it ever goes more than 15, it's also strange. So, it is a general cold climate here, and it's a lot of storms. But today we see the opposite. There is absolutely no wind that creates all this fog. We are in the European Union, but still Faroe Island doesn't follow the European uh, rules for, for the seating. Normally they will be like 70 centimeters between the seats, and this bus is only 67 centimeters between the seats. So you have 3 centimeters more to take from between each seat, which makes the passenger ride better for you, but a little bit worse for the operator, because they will not fit as many passengers as normal. But that's good for the passenger, that means that you will sit comfortably. I really have to say that I like this Iveco E-Way. It has a design that you either love or hate. When you see it from the outside, it looks like something you've never seen before. And either you will say like, hey, look at that cool bus, or you will say like, what is this? So it's a little bit up to your own taste, but I think the functionalities of this bus is very great. Long battery range, great capacity for the seating even though the bus is shorter and narrower. And I feel it's comfortable to drive, I have great vision, love the side window, good flexibility to come in and out. 
in all in all, I think this is a great bus. And it's also great to see that the Faroe Islands, that is a green pearl out in the Atlantic Ocean, now also will get green transport. So this is the future also of the Faroe Islands. So let's hope that this bus that is specced for this condition will also work properly in these conditions. And when we asked the bus company for why did they choose the vehicle to buy their electric buses, they were saying that they wanted a company that could deliver both electrical and diesel engines. They were actually considering buying all the buses electric, but that will be a big, big problem because they don't have the infrastructure here. Right now they're using only a portable charger to charge the buses and they will make the infrastructure ready after the summer to charge the buses overnight at the depot. But now they have two buses and they don't have a proper place to charge it. But this will come very soon and then this will be a functional, great experience, both for the operator and for the passengers. Thank you so much for watching the video here today. And if you like what you see, please click down here below. The button is called subscribe, and then you will see all the future videos from us here in Bus Magazine. Until next time, drive safely, have a great day.